The member will resume his seat. The member for Robertson has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer update the House on the efforts the government is making to target Labor's legacy of debt and deficit? And how does this legacy affect the whole economy? I call the Honourable the Treasurer. Well, I thank the Honourable Member for Robertson for her question and recognise that despite some of the challenges we've had in the budget, we have been able to set up an Australian taxation office in Gosford with up to 600 employees, which is hugely important for the central coast of New South Wales, which has very high unemployment. Uh, and it is important that we actually focus on dealing with the legacy of debt and deficit left behind by Labor. $667 billion of debt without any action in 10 years' time. And as I said before, that equates to $25,000 for every man, every woman, every child in 10 years' time. And it's only the coalition that has a plan to fix the mess that has been left behind by Labor. As Chris Richardson from Deloitte's Access Economics said this morning, and I quote, May's budget is the only roadmap to structural fiscal repair Australia has. The opposition and minor parties wash their hands of setting out detailed alternatives, preferring populist posturing. Preferring populist posturing. That's the Labor Party way. We know that. That's the Labor Party way. In fact, I, uh, for some odd reason, I had a, I had a, I had a grand choice of, on the TV just before question time of Clive Palmer or Bill Shorten. And I, I was channel switching, I was channel surfing, looking for some sport or uh, anything else, but I couldn't help but listen to the Leader of the Opposition who said before question time words to the effect, if you want to fix, fix the budget, get rid of the savings that are in the budget. <laughs> I thought, hang on, how does that work? He says, dump the Medicare co-payment and dump the fuel excise and dump all the things that actually save money. And you know what? He reckons the budget would actually be in better shape. <laughs> you know, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. When the Leader of the Opposition was out there saying, great news, Australia, we've delivered a budget surplus. <laughs> or when our old mate, our old mate up in the back stall, the member for Lilly. You can look up now, Swanee. You can look up. Thank you. Uh, he's there. And look, and this dispatch box, he said, the four surpluses I announced tonight. The, four <coughs> the Treasurer will resume his seat. Tonight. The Treasurer will resume his seat. The member for Shortland on a point of order. Uh, thank you.